welcome to this quick live uh, I've never done a YouTube live before so just trying out uh, the reason uh, why I wanted to do this live was I bought this set of Daniel Smith watercolors and this is a set of 10 watercolor tubes of 5 ml each and it's curated by John Cogley and I bought it from Blick the amazing thing is that I was actually looking for some more paints because I was running out of some of my uh, paints and uh, I usually uh, paint with Vincent & Newton professional paints and I, while I was, you know, surfing through all other options, I, I thought let's just try Daniel Smith. And this set is, the actual price of the set is around $90 or something but i got it on discount and i don't know whether the discount is still applicable or not um or i mean the sale is going on or not you can check on blick's website i got this set for 30 dollars around 30 dollars i'm not sure about the exact price but it was like pretty significant discount so i thought why not just do some swatching in front of you guys so it's a beautiful set and I really like the colors. Uh, the colors are Hansa, yellow, medium, ultramarine blue, quinacridone rose, sap green, imperial purple, quinacridone sienna, and quinacridone gold. Too many qu quinacridones. It's, it's a tongue, tongue twister. Uh, and then lunar black, cascade green, and per pearlescent white. So basically it's a... Uh, um, what is it? Shimmery white. Okay, so let's just take the tubes out. I've not used Daniel Smith colors before. To be honest, I just had one tube and I am not sure what the exact um, shade it was. But I did not like it, honest. To be very honest. So, uh, But I always wanted to try out different uh, shades. So think this is the time so i also bought a palette today from hobby lobby because i don't have any proper palettes and the reason why i bought this one i didn't like the quality of this one but this is the only one that was available at at hobby lobby today so i just wanted to try out these paints so i just you know bought this one so i'll be um pouring out these paints into the palette um, I was not planning to do that, but when I opened the tube, you won't believe that the paint is like, it just comes out of the tube without even, you know, pressing the tube at all. And here is a little um, comparison. Both of these tubes are 5 ml, but you can see the size is pretty different, you know. This tube is very small as compared to the Vincent and Newton but I'm not sure. Uh, it should be 5 ml, but we'll see. Okay, so I'll just start with setting up the palette. So I'm going to start with the pearlescent white. So usually what I do is I always start with lighter colors. And I try not to take out a lot of paint from the tubes. And I'm not going to uh, talk about the pigments because if I talk about too much, too many details, I mean, the video is going to be very, very long. So I don't want to do that. Hansa yellow medium. So you can see that. I've already tried out some of the paints. And you can see when I'm opening these paints, these are some of the paint is already in the lid of the tubes. And then we can go with quinacridone gold. The colors are beautiful. I have always been following um, Denise. Denise Sudan. Her name. Her YouTube channel is in liquid color. I have been, you know, following her for a long time, and she always recommends Daniel Smith and she has so many videos on Daniel Smith um, swatching and all that you know um, 
she has a load of you know uh, videos on watercolor tubes watercolor paints not tubes uh, brands all that and this one was queen of Redon rose yeah this is imperial purple then i'll go with this one ultramarine blue oops see you i don't know whether you saw that or not the paint just came out so that was the reason i had to buy this palette specially you can see that uh, they have literally loaded the tubes with the paint and it's coming out like crazy Next is Cascade Dream. You can see that. Uh, this is the first time I'm opening these tubes. I just tried out one or two shades before doing this video. So all these tubes are just new. This is Lunar Black. And this is going to be a granulating color. Okay, I have to press this one. I don't know why. Oops. There we go. You can see there was something I don't know what happened but I had to press it hard and so much of the paint came out that's fine and for swatching I'm going to use the sketchbook I'll just keep it like this this is from Arteza um, nothing like I have no plans I just wanted to try out these paints and I thought Let's do it on YouTube. First, I was trying to, thinking of doing it on, um, what is it, Instagram. But I don't know, I, these days I am not really interested in going on Instagram a lot. I don't know why. Something is off with Instagram. Let's, I'm just looking for a smaller brush. I'm not really prepared for this video okay so I'm going to use this brush from King Art Supplies this is a filbert brush size 8 and I wanted to give a shout out to King Art Supplies their brushes are just beautiful I recently uh, received some of their new brushes and they have the best brushes so far like they are synthetic and you can see how beautiful these brushes are i'll be doing another video um i'll show you what kind of brushes i use and why i love king art supply brushes okay so with the let's just do one thing before i start painting i'll use a sharp pillow Okay. and for the lighter colors I always try to have a dark line like so so that let's just have it for every shade so these are one two three four five and then one two three four five so the way I'm going to swatch these paints is like I'm going to uh, start with the uh, full you know intensity of the paint and then come down with more water and then just add more water to the swatch to get uh, to see how transparent is the paint all right so I'll start with the percent white I think I should write down the names first but it's okay Looks good, but I'm not a big fan of um, what is it? These um, shimmery colors, so I just wanted to swatch it out. That's it. I won't even use it. I think in my all right. Okay, so next one is Hansa Yellow. Let's just try the names. Hmm. 
this is Hansa yellow all right and then we have Quinn gold next is Quinn Sienna so many Quinn so the Quinn is basically Quinn of Credone which is already um, what do you call that tongue twister <laughs> rose Quinn rose and then we have some purple which is imperial purple and you can see that I'm not very professional in doing such kind of videos I'm just trying to share my thoughts about Daniel Smith I've been um, there there has been a lot of you know um, talk going on about these paints and actually I heard someone saying that I don't know uh, there was something negative I heard about Daniel Smith but I don't believe it casket green and lunar black okay makes sense all right so next is Hansa yellow so I'm trying to take the thickest consistency here oh my god this paint is so creamy you can see this paint is so so creamy I'm loving it actually let's see wow this is beautiful and when I'm painting with this this is so creamy it's just like Oh my god, I'm loving this shade. Oh my god, look at this. Wow. I'm so happy I bought this. Oh god. Yes. Such a beautiful shade, you can see. Such a vibrant and beautiful shade. I'm so happy I bought this set. Okay, so next one is Quinn Gold and we'll try to take the thicker consistency first. And I have heard a lot of things, good things about this shade, especially from Denise Sudan. Um, she is a fan of Daniel Smith this is a beautiful shade and I would say that yeah it goes very well with um, it, it will go very well with the landscapes and even plants so I'm working on one painting these days uh, which is a botanical painting and I'm trying to you know uh, get into an exhibition I think this shade will be a very useful shade for the stems in that. So I'll try to incorporate this paint in there. Okay, so next one is, what was it? It's Quinn Sienna. Again, taking thicker consistency. Like so. Um, Oh, this is also beautiful. They have beautiful paints. I don't agree with people who say they don't have natural paints. These are, these actually seem like very natural pigments. Wow. It's just wow, honestly speaking. I want to try uh, different techniques with these paints now because um, I'm sure if we do wet on wet technique or something different like using salt techniques, these paints will give their, you know, best. Um, I, I can't expect such kind of vibrancy from Winsor & Newton. I have never seen such vibrant shades from other uh, brands, honestly speaking, so far. Um, uh, on the other hand, I would say Sennelier has beautiful shades, but I've tried limited palette from Sennelier too. So next one is uh, Quinn Rose. Try 
going to take less water initially. Yeah, this is also a nice shade and you can see that. Um, I don't see any problem with, you know, mixing the paint and it flows so beautifully. So you can see that these shades are so beautiful and we can add a lot of water. I can see that I can still drag the uh, paint towards the end and still get a lot of pigment until I uh, add more and more water because these are highly pigmented colors. Very nice. Next one is Imperial purple okay purple is always a darker shade and I'm a little bit worried about when I'm using purple because it's kind of a staining shade beautiful shade I also love the purple that I have from Winsor & Newton so that is also a beautiful shade. I'm not sure about the name of that. I'll just check if you want to. I'm adding more water. Yeah, it's a beautiful shade. Let's see if I can find the... Okay, I was talking about this from Daniel Smith. This is Rose Madder Permanent. I don't enjoy this paint at all. Yeah, this is Windsor Violet. This is also a very, very beautiful shade. But I don't use purple a lot. Whenever I do, I really enjoy this shade. Next one is Ultramarine Blue, which is the most famous, I would say, from among blue shades in watercolors and most versatile. And it's such an amazing shade. Wow. Now I feel like that I should do one video sharing the color mixing and all that with this palette. Such a beautiful palette. Thank you, John, for curating this nice, beautiful palette for us. So this is clear that the paints in the set, I mean, Daniel Smith paints are really highly pigmented which I've always heard from different artists and they have always been like talking about their quality and to be honest I had a negative image of Daniel Smith paints for many years but this time I just thought I should try them myself and I really love it. I had uh, tried their dot cards of uh, pearlescent um, shades or I don't know what the name of that set is particularly but i uh, don't like that because i don't use such kind of you know shimmery paints at all so that was not something for me but these paints are really really beautiful and i'm glad i got such a nice discount so if you're looking for some nice paints i would say just check blix website and look for daniel smith paints and you will find the set and if you're still wondering what's the name of the set i'll just give you oh sorry I'll just tell you in a minute just hold on two three minutes this one is um, sap cream beautiful shade and it's a little um, opaque I would say oh my god I am um, what I'm feeling is that going forward I'm not going to use other brands anymore because what I feel is that for my paintings, especially botanical paintings, uh, Daniel Smith is such a good bet. I should be using these paints now. Okay, the set is Classic Watercolor Set by, it's curated by John Cogley. Cogley, if I'm pronouncing it right. And it's a 10 tube set 
Next one is Cascade Green. This one is a little cooler green and it has a little different texture than other paints. It feels like a little chalky but I don't know whether um, maybe the pigment quality is different or yeah but it's a beautiful shade too. Very nice. I'm glad they have two different types of greens like this is a warmer green and this is the cooler green and um, yeah it, it, it is a perfect palette for anyone actually it's not, not just for the botanicals I would say it's perfect for anyone who even likes to paint um, any kind of subjects whether it's cartoons or if you are into food illustration or something different or maybe landscapes beautiful. All right, going to the last one. Oh, just one moment. Okay, so last one is, I feel that it's going to be a granulating paint. Let's see. And I'm a little excited for this one. Why? Because I have always heard good things about such shades. Very nice. Adding water and adding more water and then adding more water again. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's see if it granulates or not. Granulates. Let's just add a drop of water and see what happens. Yep. Let me just pick it up. You can see that it is granulating. I just added a drop, two, three drops of water and you can see how the pigment is getting separated from water. Such a nice palette. I mean, such a good job. And I am really happy I got a chance to try these out. And I really wanted to try different brands. And maybe sometime I'll come back with different theme. Uh, what I'm thinking is we can also try mixing these colors, maybe three primaries, and see how beautiful shades we can make with these this particular set and if you would like I can also do swatching of different art materials um, so the, uh, the materials that I use today are this one is from Arteza this is a watercolor paper expert is the uh, what do you know oh, I mean watercolor expert paper from Arteza and it's uh, 300 GSM and cold pressed and it's nice like it's a good paper actually just for you know swatching out your colors or maybe um, doing practice work it's a good thing then the brush that I used was this one from King Art Supplies I'll be doing more videos with King Art Supplies very soon because uh, I have been in love with their materials some of their art materials are amazing and particularly the brushes they have amazing brushes and of course this set of what um, watercolors by Daniel Smith and curated by John Cogley. All right, that's it for today. And maybe I'll do more lives like this in future. If you like such kind of videos, please let me know if you like enjoy live videos. I am happy to do that because the thing is, um, if I plan to do uh, pre-recorded videos the issue with them is that I uh, create videos I shoot the videos after that I don't like editing the videos so I think it's better to do live videos I want to be very natural with you I don't want to remove the arms and those and anything like pronunciation mistakes I want to be very 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 natural with 
well, you guys. So, and it's easy to, it's like one and done deal. So I have done this video and it will be uploaded right away. So this is really easy for me. So if you enjoy this, uh, maybe I'll do more. And uh, if I'm doing more, I will let you know, guys. This was not like, I, w I did not plan it at all and I just opened my, my uh, YouTube uh, on phone and started doing it so next time I'll do a better version of it and I'll plan it and let you know guys in advance so that you can also join in all right thank you for joining if anybody joined and we'll see you next time thank you